Hi folks, my name is Anna. I'm here to do a B flick kind of scary movie review for DestroyTheSive.org. And the first movie that I'm going to review, well hopefully the first, maybe I'll get to do this again if you guys like me. So the first movie I'm going to review is, oh there's this glare, okay, is Dead Pit. Why? Because I love this movie, seriously. It's like one of the most ridiculous zombie movies ever and it's great. Uh, and you know, you know I got the unrated director's cut two disc special edition because that's how I roll. So this movie was directed by Brett Leonard. Um, he also did Lawnmower Man and I think it's a movie called like Virtuosity. Virtuosity. <laughs> it was released in 1989 so it's a bit of an older one but you know I think that B flicks age like like a fine wine. The older the better. So basically this movie starts off with Dr. Ramsey, the, the big bad guy doing what he does best, and torturing the crap out of his patients, doing some weird kind of ritual. I don't think the movie ever particularly describes what he's doing. I'm assuming it's probably something satanic because he's standing in front of a giant, well, dead pit. Pit of dead people. So Dr. Ramsey, who is played by the lovely Danny Goshnauer, after acquiring a new victim for more torture, because torture is always fun. Um, Dr. Ramsey is followed by Dr. Gerald Swan, who is played by Jeremy Slate, um, down to the basement of an abandoned wing in the institution they work at. And uh, after Dr. Swan finds out what, you know, Dr. Ramsey's been up to by himself down there, <laughs> he shoots him in the head, basically. Um, I mean, like, not entirely unprovoked. That's... That's the mature way to deal with things, apparently, just, just shoot them in the head. Dr. Ramsey falls into the dead pit, the pit of dead people. Dr. Gerald Swan then proceeds to basically um, board up the basement using what looks like mashed potatoes, not important, and then proceeds to forget about it. And then the movie kind of skips ahead a few years to the arrival of our main heroine, if that's what you would want to call her, Jane Doe. Because she has amnesia. She doesn't remember her name. Convenient. So she arrives, and pretty much as soon as she gets there is this huge-ass earthquake, which breaks up all of the mashed potatoes that were keeping the basement sealed, and opens up the dead pit, allowing the Dr. Colin Ramsey to rise again and, you know, start doing his thing, his tortury thing. Basically, the next... most of the movie is, uh... Well, there's a lot of whining, wailing. You know what? I'm going to say wailing. Wailing from our, our main chick there, Jane Doe. Just a lot of... Basically this. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of that. But, you know, if, if you get through that, there's, there's boobs. There's boobs. There's boobs in this movie. Also, apparently, pants for her in this movie are just not really a thing. She doesn't, she doesn't get pants. She's too crazy for pants. The uh, I think the cover it was first released with has her like hanging from something in her tiny underwear and shirt, and that's pretty much her outfit for the movie. I guess that's that's a bonus. After that, the movie goes on. Um, Ramsey kills a few people. One guy gets a drill to his face. Pretty awesome. The uh, the effects aren't anything special, but they're not terrible either. I mean. They're decent. I enjoy it. Jane Doe befriends a a wacky kind of British sidekick. I don't know why he's yeah, he's British, but he just is. Uh, his name is Christian Myers, who is played by Stephen Gregory Foster. And to be honest, the only thing I could see mentally wrong with him is he gets upset, really pissed off. I guess that's that's cause for you to be in an institution. And finally, it all culminates with Ramsey unleashing his horde of, of dead. The undead, I should say. Uh, the zombies aren't anything particularly great. I mean, they're, they're slow and dumb, but entertaining, nonetheless, because zombies. The acting in this movie and, and the ridiculousness of it is what's really going to entertain you, if, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, and the ending. Let's discuss the ending. Spoiler alert, because I'm just going to say what it is. After defeating the evil Dr. Ramsey, who our heroine Jane Doe finds out is her father, 
don't know why that has to be, but but he is. Uh, and he uh, he basically goes down all Wicked Witch of the West style and kind of just melts into the floor. He leaves behind a ring. Well, our heroine, after finishing her last wailing concert, <laughs> picks up the ring, slides it on. Whoa! What's she doing? What's... Why is she putting on the ring? What's going on here? What's... What's happening with that? Well, of course, she, uh, looks up from underneath her hair and has the same glory red eyes as the doctor. Proceeds to cackle at the audience for thinking that this movie could ever end any other way. Let's... Let's be honest here. All in all, I enjoy it. Um, if you're the type of person who likes to get like a bunch of friends together and just kind of rip apart B flicks and have fun with it, you're gonna love it. It's I think it's a great shining example of a wonderful B flick. It actually got really good reviews from Fangoria and stuff when it came out. Personally, I I would recommend watching it definitely. If anything else, the the weird effects and the the acting, the over the top acting, will entertain you. It'll give you a giggle or two. I'd say it's worth a watch. Give it a watch if you dare. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review. If so, let me know. Um, I'll come back and do more. Alright. Bye.